Hi, I'm Shakira from Careers Portal, and today we'll be helping you fill out the ZD3 form. The ZD3 form is used for applying to government jobs, but can be complicated. Luckily, we're here to help you. First, you'll have to download the Z83 form if you're choosing to post or physically hand it in. You also have the option of emailing your Z83 form. So from here, we'll deal with things in sections according to how they're labeled on the form. Under section A, be sure to fill in your correct reference number. This can be found on the job advert. If you're available immediately, you should then put immediately in block letters. Under section B, fill in your surname and full name. Then fill in your date of birth, and if you're South African, you only need to fill in your identity number. If you're a foreigner, you'll need to fill in your passport number. Mark an X under the correct choice under the race section. And then answer yes or no for all of these questions. Now for section C, circle which method of correspondence you'd prefer to use for communicating. Under contact details, if you circled post, you need to fill in your postal address. If you circled email, fill in your email address. And for fax, fill in your fax number. And for telephone, fill in your telephone number. I've chosen fax, so I would fill in my fax number. And as for languages, you'd have to fill in for the speak row. You'll then say whether you're good, fair, or poor under each language in each block. And for the write or read column, you'll do the same. Now we're at section C. Here you're giving education history and this should be from the most recent to earlier. So I'll start with writing down my university and next to that, I would write my qualification obtained and the year, which is 2020. And you do the same for each of the qualifications you obtained, like high school, any other qualifications you have. In section F, you'll be giving your work history from your most recent jobs and you would name the position held and when you started and the end date and why you left. Then they're asking you to write down when you worked. Then they ask if you are previously employed in the public service and is there any condition that prevents you from reappointment. I'll make a crossover and say yes. And then under yes, you'll provide the name of the previous employing department and indicate the nature of the condition. Under section G, you're dealing with references. First, you write the name of the person. I'll write Bobby and you'd have to say the relationship with this person and I'll say he's my boss and repeat this for all your references and then you'll need to sign here and put the date there. You'll also need to make sure that you initialed every single page at the bottom and you'll also need to attach a CV and other additional documents such as driver's license, matric certificate and ID. You will then either post, hand deliver or email to the address you are given in the job advert. I hope this video helped. Please like and subscribe and visit our website for more details.